don't, but you didn't listen to what I said about Ken Holland. And, 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 and Lee, let me finish. And at the same time, I tell you that I don't judge every situation the same. You say yeah. you should. Every situation is the same. You look through the same lens. If you win or you don't. So my question wasn't about, oh, I think he wants Unai Emery back. I don't think you really mean that. My question is, you praise Unai Emery by your definition of failing, and I don't understand it, Lee. So I kind of saw a lot of your tweets over over um, over the weekend and, and and part of your fan cam where you sort of spoke about Unai Emery, you spoke about Mikel Arteta, and the way it's kind of been twisted by a lot of people is sort of that you back. You're backing Unai Emery. You think he's a better manager. You're kind of praising him for what he's doing. Although you wanted him out and you wanted him sacked from Arsenal, a lot of people will see that as sort of like talking out of both sides of your mouth in the sense of, yes, you may still think he's better than Mikel Arteta, but well, he, was also, he, 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 he was also a, a failure um, at Arsenal as well. So why is he now getting kind of props from you? Now, I'm I'm genuinely intrigued for you, your take on this. That isn't me. I'm just trying to pr- present to you what people are saying and and get your kind of response to that. Because a lot of people view it as why are you now backing Unai Emery as this brilliant manager when you celebrated him being sacked as the Arsenal manager? Because uh, unfortunately for you and everybody else out there that's putting out a clip of oh Lee Gunner oh yes Emery sacked oh brilliant you all forgot to put out a clip of me saying soon as Arteta actually was on the verge of getting the job bring back Unai Emery you all forgot that bit. <laughs> But again, that don't get clicks, does it? Yeah. Yeah, but you didn't really want clicks. Unemory, but you, but you didn't actually want Unemory back, did you? Yeah, I did. Anybody? Hey, right, let me stop right there. How many people are watching this right now? Uh, 2,700. Out of 2,700, the people that have watched me, that will be watching my watch long and watch me on a regular basis, how many times did I say, as soon as he was on the verge of getting that job, when Vinay was coming out of his house, yeah, and the reports were doing the rounds, how many times did I say, bring him back? So look, can I ask yeah, you a question? I want this manager because okay. I'm doing Manson, I think. Right? Well, so wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. I want to ask yeah. you a question about it. He is statistically a better manager. Yes, yes, he's had a longer career, right? But at the same time, at the same time, Terry, yeah, that guy has won more than this manager will ever win in his entire career, in my opinion. Yeah. Not only that, the manager has been ridiculed by everybody in this country, yeah, or England, right? Everybody in England for taking the mick out of him because he couldn't speak English, never gave him a chance because he was the manager that came in after Arsene Wenger. So everybody was upset and salty that Wenger got potted, and he did get potted. Leave or we're sacking you, right? So he left, and you could tell that in his press conference this because he was angry, right? He was a, he was a dead man walking. That could have been anyone because they them people that wanted Emery, um, sorry Wenger to stay were never going to back Emery. The only reason they're backing this guy so much is because he was the captain that ended our nine-year trophy drought under the manager they were infatuated with, right? That's why, and then on top of that, you've got all the PR around this manager, yeah? This manager, Unai Emery, knocked both of our clubs out, beating us in a semi and you in a final to win a European trophy. If we had given that guy 640 million in four years, wheel out a dog, process his projects, let him rip out the whole squad, give him the players he wanted. He wanted Thomas Partey, he got Torreira. He wanted Zahari, he got Pepe. Mm. Yeah. Yes, he wanted Harry Maguire. Yeah, he ended up with Socrates. Right. Well, much of a muchness. Let's be real. (laughs) (laughs) Let's not pretend he weren't embarrassing in that final. However, yeah, the toxic and negative squad that apparently Mikel Arteta inherited, Mikel Arteta went and won a trophy with it. Well done. We cheered that. Right. Mm. But at the same time, yeah, at the same time, to think that this manager is better than Unai Emery, what are you waffling? So, so that that's, that is a fair point, and that I understand. And I wanted to ask you the question. And I, you know, I, I did the video the other day and had a bit of laugh, but I messaged you before it went out. Yeah, everyone, doing this. out everyone misses out the other videos that I've done where I said, yeah, no, and, 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 that, and that's, that's yeah. the case for everybody because I, I get asked questions all the time. I've, had, I've been asked that question today. But Terry, you said second and manager won't fix the club. What's changed? I haven't changed that stance. It's been said in other videos. We all, we all kind of go through that. The one bit I'm, I am genuinely confused about, I want to ask you. I understand you thinking Unai Emery is better than Mikel Arteta. And I think statistically and on trophies, you're right. But why did that make you want a manager back that you wanted sacked, that didn't do a good job at Arsenal? What was it that... I understand no, you not wanting... Up- you said didn't do a good job. He got to our not- first European trophy, uh, time, sorry, final in 20 odd years. Okay, so but you... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, so, hang on. Let me, let me premise the question again. No, I, yeah, but I want to re- premise it because I want to... I understand they got you to that final, but you celebrated him being sacked. You wanted him out. Yep. Why is the appointment of Arteta? Why did Arteta being appointed change your mind? What made you realize you got that wrong? 
because the manager had never managed a football club, Terry. It's not rocket science. No, 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 no. What made you got it wrong that Unai Emery was the right man for the job? Not Arteta. Believe him out. Because, because you want the, manager, to the, the manager we were going to sign is a rookie that has sat next to Pep and never yeah. managed a football club. In fact, actually, that's a lie. He managed Man City to their only defeat in a group yeah. stage game. Yeah, and it's still their only defeat in a group stage game in the last seven years in the Champions League. He lost to Leon. Yeah, the only time I think Pep's mum had just passed away or dad had passed away or something. So he managed the game and lost to Leon at home. Right. He'd never, ever, ever managed a game of football in his life mm. apart from that. So on that basis alone, we might as well keep this guy because we're not going to be that elite level club to go and sign an elite level manager if we're going to get a rookie that's never done it before. So yeah, I, not I, only that, not I, only I, that, I, not only I, that, fast forward again now with what we've witnessed, he's won nothing with his own team. So, on that basis alone, I've been proven right. He's not won anything with his own players. Let's put Arteta to the side because I'm, I'm the Arteta element. Yeah, I get the PSG Emery. PSG under Emery have got them statistically is their best manager for win percentage ever. So, let me I get, I get your views on Arteta. I understand them. We've been through them. Uh, 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 I, I get it. You didn't think Uno Emery was good enough. Why would he suddenly be good enough? By reappointing him, what makes him good enough? And I, I know you don't, you don't rate Arteta, but if Unai Emery wasn't good enough for you and he fouled at Arsenal, why do you want him back? That's what I'm trying to understand. Why you want him specifically? Because Arteta was the other option. I didn't so, want either of them, Terry. But if the only two options, yeah, that we were looking at were keep Emery or get Arteta, then I'm taking Emery all day long. How is this hard to understand? No, I, I, again, I, I, but I didn't... Not, so again, I understand that, but why so you would you... didn't know it because you clickbaited it with... No, 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 no. It's, him, it's getting, getting it's, it's, you, I do them shows all the time, even when I praise you. You even I'm, used it on another video I'm in the first confused. 10 seconds of the video. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still confused. Yeah, no one knew what it was about. It's just, it made me laugh the way you said it. For me, I'm still confused as to why you would want a manager back that's fouled that you wanted sacked. Based on the fact that you go by the standards, shouldn't you be asking for neither of them? Why are you propping oh, okay. a manager? Again, if you've done your I, research properly instead of just listening to a 10 second clip of me saying, Yeah, thank God I'm Emery's been sacked. And if you actually listen to other videos in and around that time scale, I wanted Ancelotti. Okay. Yeah. So, I wanted to see the only that, that doesn't answer my question. Manager. That doesn't answer my question. And the reason that, I, again, I could do the research and watch back hundreds of videos no, that are old. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go no, through. Not, because that won't get you the clicks. No, I'm going to ask you on the show the question and get straight to the answer. No, no. Or how about actually go, do you know what? Lee celebrated Unai Emery getting sacked. Oh, I've then found a clip of him saying bringing back Sartet as the manager. But however, he didn't really want both of them. That the only two options about. were these two. So he went with this one. Yeah, even though he wanted him sacked, he thought he's the better option. But however, I found other clips of him saying he wants Simeone or Ancelotti. So because okay. I want to ask because I want to ask you the questions and have a conversation. If we just didn't if I just or if all if I just didn't do this podcast, I mean, what I'm gonna do with Lee, I'm not gonna do a podcast with him. I'm just gonna go back and look at old clips and note for myself. It wouldn't be a show. I'm asking you the questions because the audience are interested in the conversation about it. That's why we do it. That's literally otherwise, I don't why why put your opinions on what managers and players and that have said and done on the internet? Why didn't you just say it to yourself in a mirror at home? Like or, yeah, or email the club the answer. I only pick selective clips then. What do you mean? Only pick selective clips. Pick selective clips. You didn't pick a clip of me saying I wanted Ancelotti. Because that's not the point that I'm raising. No, it's not the point you wanted to put out there on that particular video. No, of course, the reason. Yeah, no, the, point, course the point is, is I wanted I'm Ancelotti. Confused, and I said and it I'll tell you why. Days. If you actually let me finish my question, I know you want Ancelotti, and I get that. So for me, you saying I'd rather have Unai Emery back, I get the point. If that's the only two options you've got, then I get that. But yeah, it's the sorry. way I see you tweeting and praising a manager that you know isn't good enough for your club. I look at it and think, for someone that goes on about standards, I don't suddenly get the sudden love for a manager that you wanted out. I know oh, you want better managers than him. Now. I don't understand it. Now, and yeah. I'm just asking for you to explain it because I don't get it. No, so you're talking about my tweets now, yeah? Right? How is a manager, how is a manager in phase one outperforming a massive institutional football club, a global brand, a global fan base? Because I'm pretty sure Aston Villa ain't as big as us globally, right? I ain't seen any Villa fans in Spain. Yeah, have you seen any when you've been on holiday to different destinations? I ain't ever seen a Villa fan abroad, right? So how can this small club in terms of global size, income, outperform yeah, this manager? Because if you actually look at his record since he's been at Aston Villa and compare it to, his, uh, to Arteta's record when he first got the job in the first 18 months, he's absolutely schooling him. Yeah, so again, you didn't do your research on that because I found some graphics over the weekend 
comparing Unai Emery's first time now under under 15 months or whatever he's been at Aston Villa and compared it to Mikel Arteta's. The only difference is, yeah, yeah. that's the league finishes and positions and stuff, yeah? Cool. Arteta won a trophy and I'm grateful for that. And if you go and watch my video, it's one of the highest viewed streams I've ever done. Yeah, apparently I only get views when we lose. But if the only two manager options are keep Unai Emery or get, Arte, um, or get Arteta in, I'm keeping Unai Emery in. Yeah, how's that difficult to understand? And not I only that, hold on, not only I that, I did stream after stream after stream when Wenger got sacked, yeah, saying I want Ancelotti. Yeah, I've done stream after stream after stream, saying during that period where we would have had Freddie Lundberg in there, saying I want Ancelotti or Simeone. Yeah, and all I got was, oh, what did he do at Napoli? Yeah, Simeone plays negative football. Yeah. Like, get out of here. What, what did so we I, watch under this manager until last season? Okay, so I know that you would prefer Ancelotti. That isn't something, a question that I'd have to ask because I already know the answer to it. I only ask questions when I don't know the answers. Yeah, but if there's, you do your research before putting out there's, one, there's no, but know there's, the no, answer, there's, Terry. there's no research. There's, there's no research needed. You put the, you put the thing is. out. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. There's no research needed. Well, there is. When so I you ask... got sent a clip of somebody celebrating a manager getting sacked and didn't bother going back to the videos around that time to do your research to see whether that was just taken out of context, whether he wanted no, that because, manager or because, whether it was because, a because I, Listen, I'll tell you as to why, Lee. I'll tell you as to why. Because the fan channel reaction show is literally about out of context uh, uh, um, comments. No, the fan... Yeah, no, the fan... no I, I, I can tell you what my show's about. It's about taking snippets from people's shows yeah. Either and I agree, and I agree with a lot of things you say, and I back you on a lot of them as well, and you know that. And it's having a bit of fun with it. If I was to contextualize every, it's like a joke. It's like watching a comedian tell a joke and going, "Well, that's slightly out of context what you've said there, Ricky Gervais." It's not the point of it. It's it's whether people enjoy it or not, or find it funny is irrelevant. It's yeah, for comedic right. value. You spoke about the, the the Villa situation and how he's done so much better than what Arteta has, and I see you praising that. What I don't understand is how you're praising how well um, Unai Emery has done at Villa through the Villa lens, a smaller club, smaller budget, what he's done in a in a kind of calendar year process and he's achieved more. And half an hour ago, you're telling me, and you've said on multiple other shows, that you judge every single football club the same. So based on judging every single football club the same, how are you praising a manager like Unai Emery that on you, by your definition, fouled at Arsenal and has fouled at Aston Villa because he's won nothing? That's it's why I don't get your it. praise for him. And I, no, you don't, but you didn't listen to what and, I said and about same, and, 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 Lee, let me finish. And at the same time, I tell you that I don't judge every situation the same. You say yeah. you should. Every situation is the same. You look through the same lens. If you win or you don't. So my question wasn't about, oh, I think he wants Unai Emery back. I don't think you really mean that. My question is, you praise Unai Emery by your definition failing, and I don't understand it, Lee. That's all my well, question was. 